No, I don't waste no time So guys, welcome to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. I have my own social media marketing agency or SMMA for short, based here in the Netherlands called Brampenier. It's a six-figure business and we basically help mainly web shops, but just businesses in general as well, gain more leads and more sales through Facebook advertisements. And then I also have my own education business where I coach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first clients, how to automate it, scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. And this is a bit of a quick video um, with regards to my outreach videos. Um, one of my videos, well, I've actually got two of them now, um, is about Loom, vid, like Loom outreach. So I literally just show on the video me live uh, recording Looms for potential clients and then sending them off. And the whole video is for educational purposes only. You know, the whole point of the video is to teach you guys what to say on these Looms, how to reach out to people via Loom. For those that don't know what Loom is, Loom is basically a software that allows you to record your screen as well as yourself and the audio, so your voice, of course. Um, and as soon as you've recorded that, it will basically change into a little link. So it'll convert into a link and then you can send that link via email, WhatsApp, text message, whatever. And then you also get a notification if that person watches it. So the first person that views it, you'll get a notification saying someone is viewing your loom. And that is great because usually we only send it to one person and we send it to the owner of the business. So we get a notification if that person actually watches it. Now, with that said, I got a lot of questions about that um, with regards to what you say prior to sending the loom. So for those of you that have been watching my channel or you know are familiar with my content, I am a big advocate of cold email outreach. Uh, for those that are in the program, we have our hybrid outreach uh, out, you know, system for emails, which basically means that we have half of it sort of outsourced, if you will, and then the other half is automated and it's basically 100% hands off for us. And as you know, I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. And for those that are in the coaching program, you know, also have access to this tool and this feature so they also have it all hands off. And it just really, really helps with outreach because at the end of the day, regardless of how qualified your list is in terms of business owners and, and your businesses that you want to work with, it is a sort of a numbers game. You will need to reach out to multiple business owners before you get in contact with one or one actually replies to you. And then you've, on one end of the spectrum, like I said, you've got me preaching that email outreach is the be all end all. And then on my YouTube channel, you've got me doing Loom outreach. So a lot of the questions are about, you know, what is actually the best way of going about things? You know, do I do cold Loom outreach or do I do cold email outreach? You know, what is my outreach method for the agency and so on and so forth. With that said, we run ads for the agency as well. So the majority of our leads and calls nowadays do come through paid traffic, which um, for us is much better and much more streamlined because despite the fact that email outreach is outsourced and automated, when the emails come in, we do basically take over the correspondence. So we start, you know, replying, etc. So once like the automation part has done its job, which is, you know, either get someone interested in a loom or get someone interested in a call, then we take over. And that is still, you know, it, it's still a bit of a manual labor uh, process from that point onwards. So with the Facebook ads, you know, we've eliminated ourselves completely. You know, we've removed ourselves from that process and now we just get notified if someone's booked a call and then happy days, you know, we take the call. Now, with that said, I only recommend Facebook ads and pay traffic once everything is up and running. I also teach this in the coaching program. I used to, I basically always say, what you do is you take the winnings or your retainers, you know, your cash flow that you've generated through organic attraction methods, 
and then you put that back into the business by you know setting up Facebook ads. So you're not actually out of pocket setting up these ads because you're just using the cash flow that you've got from previous retainers. Um, you know, you're putting that back into the business basically. So with that said, because I'm rambling on here, cold email versus cold loom, which one out of the two is better? Now, without rambling on about this too much, in my opinion, cold email trumps cold loom. Now, let me explain. The way we do things is we send email blasts, okay, and these lists are qualified. So, you know, I've seen the comments in the Facebook group and stuff about, um, you know, that the numbers game is good, but it only works to a certain extent, etc. Even if you have a list of 10 of the most qualified businesses that you want to work with that can afford you, that you can create that win-win situation for, what are the odds that all 10 of those businesses will actually reply to you? You know, there's a small chance that every single one that you'll get 10 out of 10 reply and 10 out of 10 uh, book in a meeting with you. So at the end of the day, it's still a numbers game, even though that is a small part of it. And yes, you know, they are ultra qualified. It's still a numbers game and you still need to reach out to multiple businesses before one of them reply. Chances are that if you reach out to 10 businesses and they are the best businesses for you to work with, that no one will reply. Or maybe one person will reply. Maybe one person will reply and say he's not interested. It always, you know, you always need to reach out to multiple businesses. So what we do is with our hybrid outreach system, we send out email blasts and these email blasts are customized. So they can't see it's an email blast. They can't see that we've sent this to multiple businesses. It's very tailored towards a certain niche. You know, that is one thing we do is we make sure that only a specific niche gets that email blast and then we move on. So all the meal prep companies get one email, all the clothing companies get another email, all the, I don't know, makeup accessory companies get another email and so on and so forth, okay? So that is tailored. We use basically Excel on the back end and we tailor that. We add variables to the emails so that that person look basically has the perception that it's you know a tailored email to that person. We ask, so the call to action on that email is we ask them, is it okay if we can send a loom? And only when they reply to that message, that email, only when they say, yes, you have my permission, do we record the loom? Now, why do we do this? Because we can send out up to 500, actually, no, that's wrong, 400 emails a day. It used to be 500. They've changed the algorithm and I've basically got just a regular Gmail account. If you've got G Suite with our system, you can use uh, send out up to 800 emails a day. But for me, it's just 400. So 400 messages a day, 400 emails a day, as opposed to let's say 20 loom videos tops. Now, for me to send 20 loom videos, that will take me all day. Not because I'm constantly, you know, send, sending out looms back to back and because the looms are half an hour long. Not unlike that, but it's draining and I do my homework prior to sending the loom. Okay, so it will take me all day because I, I can't I can't go through five looms without a break. You know, it's it's got nothing to do with deep work or anything like that. It's just like I said, it's quite intense. It's quite draining. So what I do is on the front end, I blast out the email. And then only those that reply do I send a loom. And I've also gotten sometimes where I've sent a loom cold and they viewed it but not replied. And that reply rate is much higher if they agree to it in the first place because they are expecting it, they know it's coming. I've also got emails from people that I've replied with, I'm not clicking on that link because I don't know what it is. It could be a scam, it could be spam, it could be malware, you know, it could be anything, they don't know. They just see a random link that says Loom, something that they've never heard of, and some random guy that they've never heard of sending them that Loom video saying, click here because I want you to see this. It can come across as a scam. So again, you eliminate that process if you ask them for permission first. So that is the way I structure things. Cold email, and then it's lukewarm loom because they've replied to it, they are expecting it, they know it's coming, and they've agreed to it. And by doing it this way, you know, we've increased our reply rate by, I don't know how much, like literally the reply rate is through the roof because they are expecting it. Almost, I, I'm... Again, this is off the top of my head, but I think about 90%, so nine out of 10 people that I send that loom to will watch it. And that is because they are expecting it. Of course, there's always going to be the odd person that doesn't watch it and you have to follow up with them, etc. But nine out of 10, in my opinion, will watch it. Now, in terms of the reply rates, because I do want to give you guys a realistic expectation here, I say about one out of five people will, you know, basically schedule a call with us after that. So the reply rate is or in terms of you know the conversion rates i must say is a bit lower 
but still one in five those are good numbers so if you want a call you send out five looms if you want two calls you send out two looms on average again on average your loom video does need to be enticing i'm just trying to be realistic here and give you guys a realistic expectation i've seen people that have sent out 20 looms and not get a single reply and then i tell them you need to look at your loom are they watching it yeah okay so there's no drop off there are they you know are they so basically the way i i see it is you need to look at it as a flow are they replying to your email yes okay no drop off are they saying you know are they receiving the loom video you know again that could also be a thing you know maybe there's something wrong with your gmail if they have received the loom then okay there's no drop off there have they viewed the loom video yes again that means there's no drop off there the email is good that you've sent it with if they do not reply or do not schedule a call then you know okay either the call to action at the loom of the end of the loom is wrong or you know the way you've structured the loom where you've recorded it is wrong as well and then you can start tweaking and changing things right and then you can start optimizing that to make sure that yes your loom is optimized and you do get a reply rate so you can start a b testing things maybe testing out sending them at a different time maybe testing out a different call to action maybe not sending the call to action in the email but in the loom comments maybe recording your face as well as your screen maybe just recording your screen and not your face and so on and so forth okay so that is the way i structure things so to wrap it all up here, cold email blast that is tailored to that specific niche or industry with a call to action to send a loom video. Then on the loom video, the call to action is to book a call. And that's the way I do it. So the emails are cold, the looms are lukewarm because they've agreed to it. So hope you got something out of this. Hope you found this interesting. I'm going to proceed with moving house, basically, because that is uh, the reason why I've sort of rushed this video a little bit today. Uh, I'm in the process of moving house, and the plan was to actually record this in my new office, but um, we've got a lot of people coming in, you know, basically bringing the furniture and stuff, uh, and we've ordered all new furniture. So that is all coming today, tomorrow, and basically the end of the week. Um, so that is the reason for me recording it here, so there's no people like interrupting me and stuff. But um, what I will do as soon as I am completely moved in, of course, I'll give you guys a mini house tour. I do owe you guys that at the very least because basically the entire apartment is funded by Wi-Fi money. It's funded by the agency. It's funded by everything that I've earned uh, with social media marketing and online entrepreneurship, which I'm extremely proud of and happy happy with. It's a, a purchase, so it's not, not no rent. I see a lot of people that... Uh, uh, boasted about like rented the properties and saying oh look at me living in this apartment when it's just it's just rent at the end of the day um that is not the case here i have purchased this property myself and um, like i said housewarming video will come or housewarming house tour video will come and what i'll probably do is i will also go live in my facebook group the lifestyle design community so the free facebook group i'll go live in there and answer all questions that are relevant to anything with regard to my personal life, my apartments, my, uh, just my real estate, like interests, etc., investments, and just, you know, SMA and stuff in general. So I will do that. If that sounds interesting to you, then definitely check out my free uh, Facebook group called the Lifestyle Design Community. It's linked in the description box down below and also on my, like, sort of like cover photo of my YouTube channel. You can click on the right-hand side and it'll bring you to the group as well. And there's a free uh, mini course in there as well so the smma beginner course is available in the group and my playbook is for free in that group as well so definitely check that out but for now i'm gonna wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video